What's up everybody, it's your girl Anaya This way, back with another video So, I will be doing a YouTube video of sophomore tips So I'm gonna give you guys some tips on sophomore year because I'm a junior now and I'm done with my sophomore year and my freshman year. I'm just gonna give you guys some tips on sophomore year. And I want you guys to just delightly like, comment, and subscribe. I mean, my other videos are linked in the bio. My social medias are linked in the bio. And you guys just go at me, I mean, like, I'm really like gorgeous so do you guys want me to do a summer hula uh, because I've been wearing a lot of you know awesome clothes this summer and I just want you guys to see that so you know what let me just stop talking because I'm gonna be talking all day and I'm gonna keep talking and I gotta shut up into this video because <laughs> let's go let's go so, let's just... number one a first tip I will give you guys is mm, stay positive when you go to school. Don't be negative. Don't wake up negative. If you wake up negative, what well, a tip that I will give you is to meditate and like breathe in the car, in a bus, train, whatever you're taking, you're, you know, traveling to school. Just think positive, you know, think about the good times. Don't think about no bad times because it's going to make you really horrible. Okay, so breathe because it helps me a lot. I breathe. Sometimes I do go to school angry, but that's only because I can't help myself in being angry over something that's so big. So I kind of still be angry when I get to school. But I suggest you do that because it helped me a lot sometimes. Tip two, I will give you guys to hmm, be organized. I mean, you want to have your book bag organized, your locker organized, and your life just all organized. If you don't like being organized, I mean, yeah, your life ain't perfect, but you know, it can still be perfect when you have some things organized. So stay organized by organizing your book bag with your binders or folders. I do. What I do is I I basically organize my room. My room is like so organized. My closet is very organized. My shoes are organized. My clothes are organized. My book bag, all three of my book bags are organized and my drawers are organized. So basically everything are organized for me and it's just like, it helps me even though when I'm angry, I know that I'm organized. Um, mom's always yelling at me to clean my room and clean my trunk. Uh, third tip, do not, do not, I repeat, do not try to dress like someone else. If you dress like someone else, everybody's gonna think you're a follower. And if you wanna be a leader, you wanna dress properly, you wanna dress how you wanna dress, you wanna be you, girl or boy, be you. I mean, like, you have that style, you want people to wear it, you, do you. So, what I have done, mostly at school of my sophomore year, is I have worn baggy clothes, I have worn pants a lot, shirt a lot, um, jackets, you know, coat. I mean, it really didn't matter to me because I didn't care. So I love wearing pants. Yeah, like, dress, dress how you want to dress don't dress how someone else tells you to dress because then you won't like it so dress how you dress and you know just try to get others to do your style be like hey you got this color at home let's match you know be cute you know just tip number four do a lot of activities at school be involved do sports you know go out and just do a lot of um sports such as basketball softball volleyball kickball i don't think they get kickball in high school i'm just being honest i don't think they got it but if they have it yeah um other sports that you guys could bring up um you guys could join um archery team 
if you guys know what archery is, it's uh, JRTC. I can give you more information about that in another video. Um, you can do, like, make your own art and, like, have people um, come and look at your art. Just, like, outside of school, if you have, like, the proper place for it. And you can do designs, bracelets, necklace, you know, activities. Do something in something that you'll remember for sophomore year. See, me, I didn't do anything sophomore year because I had too many family issues and I work. So it was like, you know, I didn't really have time to do activities or play sports. So I was just like, you know, I'm just going to do all this and just have fun with just friend tip number five don't have a lot of friends you want to have like a minimum of friends so that way you can be focused you can uh, have better energy you can have positive energy you can have a brighter future I'm not saying having a lot of friends could you know bring you down a lot which for me, I had a lot of friends back in elementary school and I was this close to not graduating eighth grade, but I cut off all my friends, finished my work, graduated eighth grade, and then got to high school and noticed what I did in middle school and was like, you know what, I'm not gonna have that many friends. Some of my friends that I had freshman year left me. Some of my friends that I, uh, new friends that I got, uh, sophomore year we're still talking and you know i really like them they're really cool all good friends and so that and then just like don't have too many friends because you don't want to you don't want to ruin your moment or anything with life or family because then family get the same like oh she has so many friends I can't really trust her going out because she's gonna do this with a boy or she's gonna he's gonna do this with a boy with a girl and it's like so much stuff so you don't want your parents thinking like that because I'm pretty sure mine does she thinks so much that every time I go out it's gonna be something so sometimes I stay at home sometimes I go out only weekends I go out but never weekdays because weekdays are worse to go out so Okay, I just want to let you guys know, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, hit that bell, why don't you subscribe to my channel, and just, you know, tell me, like, am I doing this right or am I doing this wrong? So, I'm going to see you guys in my next video, and don't forget, I love you guys so much. Be you. Don't let no one judge you. Don't let nobody treat you wrong. Just breathe and be the happy boy and girl that you want to be. And good night.